All right, everyone, welcome to the first episode of our Stardew Valley playthrough. Um, so this is with the 1.4 update, but it's not a first impression. I have already played the update on my on my like original file, so I know all of the content that's been added. Um, but to keep things fresh, I've installed a whole bunch of mods. So we've got new locations, new NPCs, new crops, just a whole bunch of things that we can explore together. Um, I'm pretty excited. It's been a long time since I started a new file, so I think it'll be cool to start fresh and have you guys along for the journey. So yeah, let's get started here. We'll create our new character. Okay, so we're going to be a girl and we're going to try and make her look like me. So let's find some super pale skin. <laughs> Okay, that one looks good. So now for our hairstyle. These hairstyles were added with the mod, so they're not in the in the new update. Okay, I like that one. So let's make our eyes just black. And my hair is a little less red and quite a bit darker. Okay. We'll go with that shirt. So we do have some new um, bottom options with the updates. So we have the original jeans, and then we also have some shorts, a long skirt, and a short skirt. So I'm gonna go with the short skirt, and we're gonna try and match it to the color of the top to kind of get a dress vibe going on. Okay, that looks good. So we'll, yeah, we won't have any accessories. Um, okay, let's fill this out. Call it Luna Farm. I've used that name before. I really like it. So, and we will put video games for our favorite thing. Okay. So for your animal preference, before it was just so you could pick. There was only one kind of cat and dog, but now they actually added a bunch of new skins. So we got those ones, and two new dogs. So those are pretty cute. But I have a mod installed that's going to give us a whole new pet. So. Okay. So, and for our map layout, we do have this new farm called Four Corners Farm. So it says the land is divided into four parcels, each with its own perk, perfect for a group. So I actually just play by myself all the time. Um, I have seen the map and it is like, it's divided into four perfect corners. So I don't think it's a layout that I want to use personally. Um, if you guys haven't seen it, you can look it up online. There's probably tons of pictures and other playthroughs that have used it. But I'm going to go with the standard farm. I hope that doesn't bother anybody. Um, but yeah. I just think it'll be better for, for me. So we're going to keep the intro going just in case anyone hasn't seen it. Um, and I'll just keep quiet through it. I won't say anything, but you can just skip ahead if you've already seen it. So I think we're ready. Everything looks good. Okay.
Okay, so here's Robin. Hello, you must be Effie. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mary Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. So you can already see the map coloring looks different. It's a lot less yellow and saturated. Um, we've got some new trees, new grass, and our house is also different. <clears throat> this is Luna Farm. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. And here we are, your new home. Ah, the new farmer. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. I love the flowers on the roof like that. It looks cute. Rustic, that's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt though. Rude. Don't listen to her, Effie. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. <laughs> okay, so we're ready to start our first day. Um, real quick, I'll just show you guys this in the back. So this lets you just customize your character um, just from your bedroom. And it also has a couple new things. So you can change your face shape. Um, you can do a different nose. I'll just go with the standard one though. My favorite part is you can change your shoes now, so usually you can just have boots, but this gives you a couple other options to choose from. So let's go with that one. That one's really cute. Okay, and we'll grab our parsnips here and head out onto our messy farm. So first things first, let's just clear. We want to get these seeds planted right away, so I'm just going to clear this area here. A little, a little laggy. Okay, 
don't want to use too much energy, so I'll just clear just a space just big enough. Oops. Okay, that should be good. Is that right? I'm trying to do a little setup that I can, um, when we get sprinklers, I don't have to replant it and I can just put them in the middle. And then with the rest of our money, we'll just um, fill up what's empty. Water them. Okay, so next thing I want to do is get enough wood for that we can craft a chest. When I first got this game, I didn't even know for the longest time that you could craft a chest. Um, so for days, I just went around like <laughs> I was just throwing away things because I didn't like realize that I could have extra space. Um, and the first bag up upgrade is pretty expensive, so that was kind of funny. Let's just get enough wood here. Don't want to have to throw away anything. Um, one of our main goals is I want to try and complete the community center within the first year, which shouldn't be too hard. I already like I have a pretty good memory. I can remember all the things that I need to plant or yeah, things that I need to plant and collect. Um, so I'll definitely be saving all this stuff. Ugh, where do we move around? Okay, probably one more tree, and that should be good. Got a little energy to start with. Okay, perfect. So let's craft a chest. And put it right there. And I'll pretty much put everything that I'm not going to use when I'm out and about. Okay. Let's take a look at our journal here. So, cultivate and harvest parsnip. Already on that. So, we have 33 people to meet. So, I'm not sure how many new NPCs that is, but it's definitely going to take us a little longer. I don't know if we'll get it all done in this episode, but we will try our best. So, maybe let's do like a loop around here. See if we can forage anything. Ugh. Okay. Okay, nothing to forage here. Um, I'm definitely going to be looking out for forageables because if you can see on the left side, that little yellow bar there. So that's our hunger meter. So we actually do have to like eat throughout the day or we lose speed we lose stamina and if it gets to the very bottom we'll lose health so that's really important but i'm excited for it because i never saw a, like a reason to cook before i didn't really care about the recipes um so i just kind of like relied on forageables for my energy and stuff so i think that'll be cooler to like actually have to cook and plant all the new crops and get the new recipes and stuff okay so that was um linus that we just met let's go in here We've already met Robin. Here's her daughter, Maru. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. You know, with a small town like this, a new face can really alter the community dynamic. It's exciting. And here's Demetrius. Greetings, I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. I'm studying the local plants and animals from my home laboratory. Have you met my daughter, Maru? She's interested to meet you. So Sebastian lives in the basement here. Um, we can't go in. He's usually in there till the evening, so <laughs> he's actually who I married on my first playthrough. So I kind of know his schedule pretty good, but hopefully we can meet him today. I don't know if we'll make it back up here in the evening, but we will try. 
Oh, awesome. There's a daffodil. So you can already see, this building was not here before. This is part of a mod. Um, but all the buildings just look different as well. So I think that looks really cool. Here's Sam. Hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. And we've got our bulletin board with all the birthdays and the events. Help wanted sign. Let's see if Harvey's here. Oh, perfect. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town. It's rewarding work. Awesome. Oh, okay, so I should mention right now, I am using one cheat for this playthrough, so that's um, when I go inside of a building for like the time that I'm in the building, time will freeze. That's just because our map is so big now that I really don't want to waste um, most of the day just running around the map, so I thought that would be just better for the episodes. We can get a lot more done. I hope that doesn't bother anyone. If it does, let me know. <laughs> I'll consider turning it off. But I think it'll just make the episodes better. Okay, here's Leah. Hello, it's nice to meet you. You picked a good time to move here. This spring is lovely. And Abigail. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving on to that old farm. farm. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. Hey, it's Miss Effie, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. Okay, let's buy our seeds right now. So we need the, these three for the community center. So how many does that leave us? So nine parsnip seeds. That'll probably be all of our money, pretty much. Oh, we have a little bit left. Okay, I'll show you guys some of the new... Um, so we have a couple new trees here. Almond, Asian pear, cashew, fragrant rosteria, granny smith, lemon, lime, melaleuca, not sure what that is, persimmon, vanilla, walnut. And then for crops we have um, basil, cabbage, onion, parsley, passion fruit, spinach. Oh, okay. <laughs> so these ones are apparently meat plants. So literally they grow like chicken. I'm not going to be using them because that's just not very realistic and it's kind of gross. If we need meat for some recipes later on, I can get it from my animals, so definitely we'll skip those. <laughs> but yeah, so we got chamomile, rose, shaded violet, spring rose, and a whole bunch of new spices. So that'll be cool for cooking later on. I can't get any of those now, I just don't have the money, but maybe, I don't know, maybe by like fall we could get a few of the new, new crops. Okay, so here's Alex. Hey, you're the new girl, huh? I think we're gonna get along great. I'm Alex. I'll see you around. <laughs> so he lives here with his grandparents, um, George and Evelyn. Hmm, it's irritating tough to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way, now buzz off. Very friendly. Why, hello and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. Okay, cool. So we actually have a dog in the town now. Before it was just a little box and I I don't think you ever see the dog. So anyways, I think that's just a little bit cooler. His name's Dusty. We'll make sure we check all the garbage cans. Yeah, we can't go to the saloon yet. Oh, there's Pam. Hey kid, the name's Pam. Don't be a jerk and we'll get along fine. Okay, let's grab this dig spot here. Just a stone. So this is Mary Lewis's house, who we've already met him. Actually, let's go this way. Somebody might be at the museum, and then we can also meet the blacksmith, Clint. Oh, what's this? Community garden. Oh, that's cute. I like that little touch. Okay. No, nobody in here. I'm kind of just going to rush through meeting everyone on the first day because we'll, we'll get to know them over time, so I just want to get that out of the way. Hi, I'm Clint. I'm the town blacksmith. If you ever need to upgrade your tools, I'm your guy. Okay, so maybe let's go up this way. We can go to Jojo Mart. Pretty sure Shane will be working there. Oh, there's a new guy. Andy. Would you look at that? It's the new farmer everyone has been talking about. Finally moved to the valley, I see. I've been working Fairhaven Farm here for many years. It ain't much, but it's honest work. 
He's got a Jojo hat. I guess he's a fan. You're lucky you got that free property from your grandpa. He looks better. Sorry, Andy. Okay. Pam's here. We already met her. There's Shane. Shane's hard at work. He doesn't seem interested in talking. Okay. I think that still counts as meeting him. Um, and I saw on our birthday list that we can now um, become friends with this guy. So his name's Morris. Ah, it's Farmer Effie. Welcome to the Valley. My name is Morris, manager of the Jojamar in Pelican Town. If you need cheap quality seeds, there's no better place than Jojamar. I wouldn't bother with Pierre's store. Jojo's seeds are much better than his. Okay. So it'd be cool to kind of get a backstory on him. And in the original game, he's just kind of the enemy. You don't really get to know anything about him, so I think that'd be cool. Oh, we already met Abigail. This is a new house. Let's go check this out. Oh, there she is. New girl, Olivia. Oh my, aren't you a cutie? Welcome to the valley, dear. It's so exciting when someone new, new, new moves in. Have you met my son, Victor? Okay, let's see if he's here. He's right there. Oh, hey there. You're the new owner of Luna Farm. I'm Victor. It's a pleasure to meet you. Effie, is it? Have you met my mother? So I'm pretty sure he is marryable. Let's take a look here. Okay, so I guess you can date him or his mom. That's kind of interesting. Well, we're definitely going to try and um, get our friend level up with all of the new characters first. I definitely want to see their all of their cutscenes. So. Okay, let's get on here. Emily's house. Oh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. So she who lives here with um <clears throat> with Haley, and then I also had a new character named Mona. So they're not here right now, but we'll meet them later on. Okay, so here's Sam's little brother Vincent. Oh, a stranger. My name's Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. It's a quiet little town, so it's very exciting when someone new moves in. Have you met the other farmers in our community? Okay, so maybe let's go this way. Um, this is Leah's place down here. We already met her, though. I guess we can't check those ones. Oh. There's Marnie. Ah, uh, Mary Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. I sell livestock and animal care products at my ranch. You should swing by sometime. So this was new. She didn't have this little little cabin shed thing here. Expenses. Wow, she makes good money. What's this? The chest is unlocked. You open the chest to see what's inside of it to satisfy your curiosity, only to find... Another chest that is locked. Okay. <laughs> okay, so maybe let's look around this little foresty area for some. Here we go. Grab all these. We might as well go meet the wizard while we're over here. Okay, here we go. Oh, he's got a giant crop. You think to yourself that maybe, just maybe, there's something magical about this place. The soil has magical properties. Well, it makes sense you'd have a giant crop. Ah, yes. I predicted your arrival a long time ago, young Epi. However, your fate is ultimately in your own hands. Okay, let's see how we're doing for... So 24 of 35, that's not too bad. So I think we'll go home now, plant these um, other seeds that we have. And then I definitely want to go and try and find some of the new places. We'll take a look at our map after. Oh, oh and here's Jazz. Oh no, I messed up again. 
Okay. What's this? Another little crop area. Okay, that must be Marnie's. Looks like cauliflower. So I love all the like, just the little changes that are around town. I think that's really cool. Okay, let's make our way up here. <clears throat> okay. Gotta find a good path here because I don't have any. I don't have my axe. Use the rest of our energy for that. Oops. Okay, so we can drop some of this stuff off here. Okay, we need one of those for the community center. One of these. And I'll probably just throw away those mixed seeds. I never plant those. Probably should, but really want to waste the energy. Okay, so let's look at our map here. So it looks like these are new, because there's Leah's. Okay, so if we go straight down from Marnie's, we've got Fairhaven Farm, and then Blue Moon Vineyard, and Sophia, and Ruined House. Okay, let's go over there. I should probably eat something. I can tell already that my speed goes down pretty quickly with the health bar, so. Yeah, we're definitely moving way faster. Okay, let me through. Okay, so straight down. I guess we'll go down this bridge here. Okay, here we go. So this is Fairhaven Farm, I believe. So this is Andy lives here. Okay. So he's got a strawberry field here. Some bee houses. His house is really messy. Beer is soaked into the carpet. There's rotten food spilling out of the can. <laughs> okay. Well, that'll be cool to see his cutscenes. I'm sure they'll address why his house is... Let's see this letter. It's Andy's diary. You read a page. My yoba darn plants keep dying and aren't producing enough. I gotta buy more of them Jojo fertilizers. That ought to do the trick. <clears throat> okay, so he loots as many on this farm. Aw, poor guy. Okay, we'll, we'll definitely give him some gifts when we get some extra stuff to see what's going on there. Oh, here's another dandelion. So these will be good for food early on. Okay. Oh, awesome. Spring onions. Okay, so all oh, there's empty. Okay, so I think up here is the Blue Moon Vineyard. Hopefully Sophia didn't leave. I want to meet her. I'm going to meet you one of these. Okay. Oh, this is huge. Got some bee houses too. Lots of cakes. 
Let's see. Let's see. Grapes are cleaned and stomped in the stone well. Wow, she makes a ton of money. We can buy some stuff from her. She has iridium sprinklers. I think those are cheaper than Krova sells them for too. Okay, that's pretty cool. And she does cosplay. Aww. Oh good, she's down here. Eek, a stranger. Wait, aren't you Effie, the new farmer of Luna? Sorry, I get a little ner a little nervous around people I haven't met before. Okay, I really like her portrait. She's cute. My name is Sophia. I'm the owner of Blue Moon Vineyard. So I'm pretty sure we can marry her. She is really cute. I like her a lot. Okay. So my issue with that is, if I do marry her, it really doesn't make sense that she would just give up like this huge house and her really awesome farm and come move into my room. So I don't know how I feel about that. Like when I read Sebastian, it made sense. He lived in his parents' basement. So, so these boxes are addressed mom and dad. So I'm sure there's a story there. So I don't know. We'll befriend her. We'll give her some gifts and see her, um, see her heart events but yeah that's just crazy to me that she would just like abandon this place <laughs> give it all up for love where does this go okay so this loops to the beach okay i really like that layout that's convenient okay let's go for these forageables so these will be really good to sell. Make a bit of money off that. And we've got another whole spot. Oh, library book. Okay. And we'll definitely repair this bridge pretty early on because you can get a lot of forageable stuff over there to sell. So that costs um, 300 pieces of wood. Okay, so who haven't we met yet? So we still have nine people to meet. So we've got Haley, the new girl Mona, Caroline, Gus, Penny, Elliot, Sebastian, um, forget his name, but the Adventurer's Guild guy. And we'll meet him tomorrow when we get our fishing rod. So let's go to the saloon and hopefully there'll be some people there. Oh, glasses. Actually, I'm gonna go over here before it gets too late. Oh, never mind, it's too late. Thought maybe Penny would be home. Okay, so we can meet Gus. Other than that, I think we've met everybody here. Okay, I think we'll just head home now then. We'll have to meet everybody tomorrow. That's okay though. Okay, so we can sell some of this stuff. So we'll keep one of those. I'm pretty sure we need that for the community center. We can sell those. We can sell one of those. And those don't really give a lot of health and energy, so. Okay. Last thing I want to do is make a torch. It's a little dark here at night. Okay, that's better. Okay, let's go inside. Check the weather. It's gonna be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Okay, I guess we'll end this episode here. Tomorrow, we will definitely meet the rest of the townspeople. 
get our fishing rod. So that should be good. For future episodes, I'll definitely try to put um, two days into one episode. Just your first day is kind of long, just meeting everybody and stuff like that. So yeah, sorry about that. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, though. If anything's wrong with the audio or if you guys want like a face cam in the corner, just let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching and we will see you next time.